The Revised Fundamentals of Caregiving is a poignant novel penned by Jonathan Evison. Released in 2012, this contemporary tale delves into the transformative journey of a desolate caregiver and his disabled teenage companion as they embark on a soul-searching road trip, discovering the essence of life, friendship, and resilience. Garnering critical acclaim upon its publication, the novel has also captivated audiences as a major motion picture adaptation. Jonathan Evison, an esteemed American author celebrated for his astute and clever prose, has an intriguing background. Before his foray into novel writing, Evison was the charismatic frontman of a punk rock band, boasting future members of Pearl Jam and Soundgarden among its ranks. The story revolves around the protagonist, Ben Benjamin, a tormented soul burdened by depression and grief. His marriage has reached an impasse, with his wife having filed for divorce months ago, though Ben lingers in the hope of reconciliation, reluctant to sign the final papers. Simultaneously, Ben grapples with recent unemployment, resulting in the loss of his home. Penniless and engulfed in despair, he finds himself at a crossroads, uncertain of how to forge ahead. Driven by necessity, Ben decides to embark on a new path by enrolling in a caregiver training program. Despite his own personal struggles and doubts, he endeavors to obtain the necessary skills to provide care to others. Daunted by the prospect of meeting his first client, Ben questions his ability to fulfill this role, considering his own struggles with self-care. Following the completion of his training, the agency assigns Ben to his inaugural client, 19-year-old Trevor Conklin. Trevor grapples with muscular dystrophy, a debilitating condition that diminishes his muscle strength and mobility. Constrained by the limitations imposed by his illness, Trevor grapples with feelings of hopelessness, observing his peers living lives he can never partake in. Ben, inexperienced and uncertain, grapples with the daunting task of uplifting Trevor's spirits, unsure of how to alleviate his anguish. As their story unfolds, Ben and Trevor embark on a transformative journey that challenges their perceptions, tests their resilience, and unearths the profound connection between caregiver and recipient. In the midst of their unconventional bond, Ben grapples with the harsh reality of Trevor's deteriorating health. He finds solace in their shared cynicism, believing that he can authentically relate to Trevor's view that life rarely aligns with our expectations. Ben refrains from offering false hope, recognizing the gravity of Trevor's condition. As their companionship deepens, Ben gradually unravels Trevor's intricate layers. Aware of Trevor's need for stability, Ben adheres to a predictable routine, serving him the same waffles each morning and accompanying him to their cherished Thursday movie outings. With Trevor lacking friends, Ben assumes the role of his companion, taking him on occasional outings to places like the mall or the grocery store. Observing Trevor's longing glances at local girls, Ben empathizes with his frustration over the limitations imposed by his body, unable to indulge in romantic relationships. Trevor's isolation serves as a poignant reminder to Ben of his own heartbreak and loneliness. Sensitive to the boundaries of their caregiver-client relationship, Ben refrains from discussing his own personal troubles, including his estranged wife and financial woes. He believes such topics to be inappropriate, and fears that revealing his past irresponsibility would jeopardize his job and invite disapproval from Trevor's strict mother. Preserving his position as Trevor's caregiver is paramount, as Ben cannot afford to lose this lifeline of employment. One day, Ben stumbles upon Trevor engrossed in mapping out tourist destinations. Curiosity peaked, Ben inquires about the drawings, only to discover that Trevor is charting the places he will never have the opportunity to visit. The Travel Channel serves as his window into the world beyond his reach. Witnessing Trevor's existence rather than a life fully lived deeply unsettles Ben, stirring emotions he hadn't anticipated. Weeks pass with relative calm until a significant disruption occurs, the unexpected contact from Trevor's estranged father. Eager to reconnect, Trevor's father extends an invitation for Trevor to visit him in Salt Lake City, presenting an opportunity that sets their journey on a new course. Despite Trev's mother's disapproval, she reluctantly permits him to embark on the journey to Salt Lake City. Ben, understanding the significance of this opportunity for Trevor, agrees to accompany him, and together, they commence their travels. Along the way, they encounter a cast of diverse characters who leave lasting impressions on their journey. They meet a young couple on the verge of parenthood, brimming with anticipation and hope, as well as a spirited runaway seeking adventure. Though Trevor is drawn to the runaway, aware that his physical limitations prevent him from pursuing a romantic connection, 
The encounter stirs within him a newfound sense of love and kindles his dormant zest for life. Ben, in the process, discovers unexpected parallels between himself and Trevor. Trevor's confinement within his own body mirrors Ben's entrapment within his own thoughts, both yearning to break free and rediscover the exhilaration of living. As their shared experiences unfold, the realization dawns upon them that possibilities abound in life, regardless of its duration. They grasp that every moment is worth seizing, embracing the essence of living fully. By the journey's end, both Ben and Trevor have undergone transformative experiences that have shattered their self-imposed barriers. They emerge with a profound understanding that life's potential is boundless, irrespective of the time we have been allotted. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.